good morning you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new hi my name is Shani what's up what's good with you so in today's video I'm going to be doing my hair it's very early in the morning and my family is still asleep so that's why I'm kind of like whispering a little bit so please don't mind me excuse me for the time being but yeah I'm gonna be doing my hair because it needs to be done I'm trying to do like a, a slick back type of style and I do have a wig on right now so this wig is from her given hair y'all know that I've worked with her given hair before I work with them pretty often well not often often but I work with them a lot um, and I love their unit so this is the U part unit I honestly forgot the name of this unit so I will link it down below and I will put the name and everything everything that you guys need to know it will be in the description box because like I said I forgot the name of this unit and um, yeah I need to go ahead and start getting ready also shout out to her giving hair for sponsoring today's video I'm not really sure how I want to go about styling this hair but like I said this is a U part wig I'm going to take it off for y'all so y'all can see what's going on this is my hair if y'all are wondering I did a braid out on it ow, 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 ow. I did a braid out on my hair so it can match um, the unit and then the back of my hair is in two um, cornrows just back here hanging and then I have two extra like plaits right here because I didn't know how far I was going to leave my hair out. So yeah. The wig is a 3A or 3B I'm not sure and my hair is type 4. I'm just going to leave it right there. I never type my hair but I just say type 4 and then everybody in the comments just types it for me. I'm just going to bobby pin these two back and then bobby pin these two up and then the front is going to be left out and I'll figure out what to do with that. Bobby pin this part up, bobby pin that part up. So now everything is out of the way. One thing I don't really like about wigs is that these little bra strap things get caught on my hair all right so this is the strap and then i tighten the back of the wig so it won't be hanging off too much and the wig also comes with combs on the top and then it comes with combs on the sides and there's another comb and that's how the wig looks so lay the wig one like this and pull it all the way up to the front of my head just like that and then secure it up and then I'm securing the side combs up under the braids that I have in the back of my head all right so this is the hair and this is not how the hair comes I actually did a wash and go on this hair with the Aussie moist conditioner and um, I just brushed the hair out and clumped it together and then fluffed it out in the morning and this is how the hair came out. Alright, so I'm going to pull some of the wig up in the ponytail as well so it doesn't feel like it's about to fly off. So I'm just taking pieces and pulling it up into the ponytail. I think I think this is cool. So let me secure this. Part. So this part needs to get out of my way. So I put it like that. All right, so. Take an eco style gel and we're just going to brush all this up. I need to be slicked. Slick down. Hopefully this comes out good. <laughs> Alright, so this is the wig and this is my hair. 
So I'm just trying to like get it in a ponytail. my hair around the ponytail holder just like that pull out the baby hairs I'm not laying them down yet I'm just like pulling them back out so they don't get stuck Okay, facelift. All right, let's take this out. And I don't think I have to worry about this wig going anywhere, even though it's not attached to that. Uh, uh, <laughs> even though it's not attached, attached to my head, because it's attached in the ponytail. So if the ponytail not going anywhere, the hair not going nowhere for real. And I'm just gonna go through and like redefine the hair a little bit I'm gonna try to leave my hair out of it because my hair will poof up once it dries so I'm gonna try to keep my hair out of it um spray bottle spray bottle just trying to massage the water into the hair and then after I do that take the Aussie moist conditioner this is the specific one that I'm using right now and we're just going to put it on the hair like so I'm pretty sure y'all know how to do a wash and go <laughs> keep looking for my other brush not this brush this is the one I, I don't really use this one like that especially dealing with my natural hair I always use that zebra brush and honestly I need to buy another one because that zebra brush because the bristles on the brush or in the brush they're starting to look real limp so I need to hurry up and buy another one Yeah, I like to like clump all the curls together and then once they dry, I separate them a little bit. I clump them up and then they're good to go. Let's do the fun a little bit. Like I said, I'm trying to leave my hair from getting wet because if it gets wet, it's not going to do the same thing that the wig hair does. It's going to get curly, it's going to shrink up way more than this hair, and it's also, once it dries, it's going to get frizzy. It's not going to hold a defined curl. The only time it does hold a defined curl is when I purposely do a wash and go and stretch it or I do like a braid out or something like that. Oh, and I did cut this wig a little bit on the top part of it just so it shrinks to be the length of my natural hair. I think 
It looks. Oh, there's a lump in it. Hold on. I think I'm digging it. I think I'm digging it. Alright. Baby hairs. I probably should wait to after I do my hair. I mean, not my hair. Wait till after I do my makeup, but we're just gonna do it now. Cause sometimes I do like my edges to look a little messy, not just like really slick down. Oh, and excuse my shirt because this is like a bleached shirt. Y'all know how it be. When you're doing your hair, you just throw a old, dirty, not dirty, it's not dirty, I washed it. <laughs> a old, messed up shirt on. That's what this is. So, excuse the top. But it came out so cute. Yes. And excuse my eyes because it's really early and I just put some eye drops in my eyes. Okay. It's. It's super early. I don't think I've ever filmed this early before. Actually, no, that's a lie. I have filmed this early before, but it's it's early. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be back after I do my makeup. All right, you guys. So this is the hairstyle. I did tie it down a little bit while I was doing my makeup so now it's like flat and it's gonna stay all day it was a really easy style to do when i first started it out i was trying to figure out how i was gonna do it but it came out really really good and the wig did make this hairstyle very easy to do so i really hope you guys like the look thank you so much for watching up to this point of the video i really hope you guys liked it and i will see you guys in my next video and do not forget to like comment and subscribe bye oh and i did use the blow dryer to stretch the hair out just a little bit to make it longer okay all right i'm gone now